Good morning, friends. I'll be talking about how to harness technology uh, to take your business to the next level. Another very good example and company which is uh, working on uh, analytics is IBM. IBM is analyzing the telecom data generated. So we all know about the uh, outsourcing of uh, telecom data by Bharti Airtel to IBM in recent past. Now the data analytics has been used. So those analytics have been used for the purchase of data like when you actually uh, according to the usage of the user so how this analytic tool is working uh, in the telecom sector especially in india so when you are actually making a purchase you get personalized uh, uh, messages whereby you know according to the data path which you have used there have been various parameters on which uh, the uh, individual messages are provided to the user the parameters could be the usage of data at one particular point of time maybe the night usage is more so you give a pack which is better suited to the customer so it can be calls it can be scd it can be isd so there are different parameters and parameters per se generally when you talk about any business vertical 11 good parameters are good enough to drive the business to the next level so how the strategy of any telecom industry or how the strategy of any uh, fortune 100 company is to outsource the chunk of the uh, work to a person who is actually productive in doing that job so IBM uh, in recent years have filed a lot of patent applications in India which talks about uh, big data analytics. So if you have any question related to IBM's uh, patent portfolio, we will be happy to assist and we can help you analyze what kind of innovations or what kind of algorithms they are actually uh, using for analysis of big data. Another very good industry which I would like to uh, touch base would be media entertainment industry. As you all know, uh, right now, because of 4G and 5G penetration in India, you would be seeing a lot of technology-driven uh, stories online. And as for the current news is concerned, by 2022, uh, the media and the entertainment industry is going to double its uh, current uh, way of doing business, and it would be around 7.5 to 8 trillion INR. So that's a huge amount. And if you talk about uh, the current generation in India, because of the influx of uh, Netflix and um, other uh, online uh, portals, a lot of time is spent by the user, especially the age bracket of 15 to 25, that is one bracket, then there's another bracket of 25 to 35, 35 to 45, so these are the three main brackets uh, in which uh, Netflix is targeting its user and uh, according to the parameter of what kind of series you like, it number of series in that uh, particular section say say for example somebody is interested in sci-fi the user would be enchanted to uh, watch uh, other series and uh, trust me it's very addicting uh, i myself was addicted to netflix for a while but i uh, got to know that yes uh, technology can be a boon or bane but it is we who have to understand that where to draw a line digital platform is proliferating and uh, it's going to be huge for the creators, storytellers and the tech providers. So this, is, this is one area. So this is one area where the startups and the entrepreneurs can actually penetrate and come up with uh, online portals or you can talk about mobile apps uh, in the uh, coming uh, 2018. So the digital oriented landscape is huge and uh, as we know, the way uh, Netflix has penetrated, uh, different platforms would be coming up with uh, such kind of uh, data again you know when the data is there the analysis has to be there so data analytics would be based on ai and machine learning so machine learning is actually based on uh, npl that is a natural way of learning a uh, human behavior but no two human behaviors are same so whatever uh, algorithms are being uh, used say for example uh, in the age bracket of 15 to 25 a particular algorithm is used but two persons don't think the same way so what is good for one person might not be the best uh, advice for the second person. So you need to understand uh, where to draw a line again. If you have any questions related to media entertainment industry, who are the players who are filing patent applications, we would be happy to assist you in that. Another very important aspect in today's era is that in India, the traditional media platform is also growing. We know uh, the population of India is around about 1.3 billion and we talk about the population there is a lot of scope and still date many people are not online so that that is the reason why the traditional media platform is growing in India India is a rising market and who and who to interest and who to trust is the uh, million dollar question when any business venture is being started so 
group of internet penetration is there a lot of innovations can be done in the uh, internet era where you can actually just buy a toolkit online and you can start building stuff so how the data is being utilized when we talk about uh, telecom data i just talked about the ibm story uh, the another great story is the telecom data can be used to treat uh, patients also because what happens is when the data is being transferred maybe on a social media or any other platform you understand where a particular disease is taking place so you can actually identify the breeding ground so that is more important like in dengue or uh, you can identify the breeding ground based on the analytics of the data generated online another uh, very important factor is to uh, control the traffic uh, controlling traffic is a very important um, i personally have worked on a lot of innovations where uh, the traffic control is done by a central server and uh, even depending upon the number of vehicles even the parameter of uh, how many vehicles have passed a particular road at a particular point of time have been taken in view in the big data analysis and then the red light uh, timer is adjusted so the timer is not based on the fact that it is 15 seconds for a particular junction it is based on the aspect and the pattern uh, which is generated over a period of time. So I think it's high time in India that we have such innovations in place whereby the traffic can be controlled because many a times you're just standing on a particular red light for more than half an hour doing peak hours. So the main management is traffic in the peak hour time and I think uh, telecom data would be uh, utilized in a very fruitful way uh, to analyze this data and see how to go about it. If you have any questions and would like to understand the patent scenario in the uh, traffic signal data or any kind of uh, big data analysis in a particular domain or a particular vertical, we would be happy to assess. We not only research uh, patent applications in India, we actually do research globally and there are global databases uh, which are very user friendly uh, to the experts because when we talk about patent searching it's not just the keywords uh, there are tagging along of classifications also so identifying the classification that is a patent classification is very very important to identify a particular patent because a particular patent would be talking about multiple aspects in its patent claims and uh, we as experts uh, can analyze that uh, in the best possible manner if you have any questions just drop your questions in the uh, comment box below you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm Priti Kastigir. I'm CEO and founder of TCS India. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.